YouTube? It's your boy D Tat coming in with another video. This video is going to be about what's dropping this week in uh, February and the end of January. So January was a bit of a slow month for shoe releases. February seems to be picking up already. There seems to be a lot of drops, especially the first week. Um, so I put together a list. Not every release is on this list, obviously. So I picked and choose a few shoes that I, I thought should be on this list. So starting this off, we got the uh, Tom Sachs and Nike Mars Yard Overshoe. Uh, coming out January 31st, uh, retailing at around 550 US, 730 Canadian. Uh, the colorway is a uh, white cobalt bliss and uh, sport red black. So this shoes I'm not really a fan of. Um, so it's like a, the shoes inside all this other material. So this bag type and straps, uh, you can't actually take out the shoe, but if you know someone that knows what they're doing, you can actually cut out the shoe without damaging it. If you like this, go for it. <laughs> if you don't and you still want that shoe that's in there, because a sawed after shoe, then I don't know, try and cut it out or do something, right? Oh, obviously I'm starting off with Nike first. Sorry, I didn't mention that. So we got the Nike Air Fear of God Moccasins. Retailing at around 170 US and 225 uh, Canadian. So the colorway is uh, particle beige and um, snail and black. Um, coming out January 31st, too. Um, this shoe, it's not like the other silhouettes of the Fear of God, and it's not as expensive, but I'm actually feeling the shoe. It's a little different. If I'm able to get it, I'll, I would cop it for sure. The next one is uh, coming out January 31st. It's the Nike Epic React Flyknit 2. This is retailing around 150 US, uh, 200 Canadian. This has a bunch of colorways coming out. So I just put one in the picture right there. That's just one of the colorways. There's an actual bunch coming out. Uh, this shoe is all right. It'd be good for like running and you know, stuff like that. It's a decent shoe, maybe a good trainer. I'm not sure. This says to drop January 29th or February 2nd. I'm not sure which date it's going to be, but it's Nike React Element 87. These are retailing at 160 US and 210 Canadian. So there's two colorways. You got the uh, Hyperfusion, which is, uh, I like the Hyperfusion. That's a dope colorway. You got a bunch of different colors and the way they mix in there. It's beautiful. Got like a light lime green uh, lighter olive green then you got darker green some salmon orangish colors some blues black that's a dope dope colorway then you got the uh touch of lime which is actually another nice colorway but out of these two i'll definitely choose the uh, hyperfusion next is what a lot of people have been waiting for it. It's the, uh, coming out February 2nd. We got the Air Max uh, 720, Aurora Borealis for the men's, and then uh, the Northern Lights for the uh, women's. Um, the men's are retailing at 190 US and around 240 Canadian. Um, the women's is retailing around the same. It might be $10 cheaper. Uh, the colorway for the uh, Aurora Borealis is... Um, you got Aurora Metallic Silver, Black Metallic Silver. And then for Northern Lights, you got uh, Metallic Silver slash Midnight uh, Navy. I hear that the both can be called Northern Lights. Um, the women's supposed to be called Day and the men's is supposed to be called Night. But now I'm hearing that the men's is going to be called Aurora Borealis, which I don't know if it's true or not. We'll see when it comes out. Next one is this one I really like. Um, well, I seen I seen this a couple days ago, and I was like, I want this shoe. It's coming out uh, February first. It's the Nike Air Max ninety uh, grape. This is retailing out about one hundred US, one thirty Canadian, and just the color scheme on this reminds me of kind of the Grape Fives, which is a awesome shoe. I love that shoe, but it also is bring me back to like the nineties. Like this shoe is like all 90s in there it's a beautiful shoe I'm definitely copying this shoe 100 percent a few of the uh back black history month shoes so these are either coming out 
February 1st or February 2nd. I'm not 100% sure. The first one on the list is uh, the Kyrie 5 uh, BHM. This is retail at 130 American and 170 Canadian. The uh, colorway is white, metallic, red, and bronze. Um, I really like this shoe. I'm probably going to cop this shoe. PG3 Black History Month. Retailing around 120 US, 160 Canadian. You got the per, uh, pure platinum, metallic gold. Um, this is a, I like the silhouette. The colorway, I'm not too fond on. I don't, it's not bad, but it's not, it's not, I wouldn't say it's horrible. I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't say it's good either. So this one, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't think I'm going to cop this one. Then we got the KD11 BHM. Retailing around 150 uh, American and 200 Canadian. The colorway is blue void, black, and squadron blue. This one, I I do not like this one at all. <laughs> be honest. I don't know what it is. If it's just the colorway, the type of material. I don't know. I just don't like this shoe. Um... So getting away from Black History Month for a minute, we got uh, coming out February 2nd, we got the Air Max 97 Wild West. So there's two, I didn't know this till today, there's actually two different uh, colorways in this, which are pretty similar, but you'll see in the pictures how different they are. So uh, the price has not been yet um, confirmed, but the first one in the picture is a uh, Parachute Beige University Red. Thunderstorm Light Armory Blue Snail. And this one right here is a Parachute Beige, same color. University Red Thunderstorm Light Armory Blue Snail, same color. The only difference is this one has Armory Navy and the way they put the colors on the shoe. Which either of these shoes are both dope. I'll cop either, either or. Now we got February 2nd again, LeBron James 3 Home. 175 US that you retail at and around 230 Canadian. White, black, and uh, varsity crimson. This shoe, um, the George, LeBron 3s are nice shoes. I like the silhouettes, but I'm not going to cop this one. Uh, if this was the only one dropping, then I would cop it, but I have my eyes on the next one on the list, which is coming out the same day. And it's the LeBron 3 Superman. This is a must cop. Retail at the same price, around the same price, 175 US, 230 Canadian. The colorway, um, <clears throat> we can see what the colorway is, but the colorway isn't confirmed as which actual colors are on the shoe. All we know is that it's a red, white, blue, and some gold. It's Superman colors, like, come on. Um, then we got... I'm not sure if this is actually coming out. A couple sources say it is. A couple sources don't even have it on the list. This is a cool, cool shoe. If it does drop, I would like to cop this one. It's it's coming out February 1st. Um, Nike KD11, just do it uh, speckled. It's a sweet shoe. Uh, retailing for around 150 US and around 200 Canadian. You got that uh, bla all black um, uppers and lowers. And then you have that light blue Nike there. And then you got that sparkled like paint splatter type type deal going on. I really like that shoe. For all you people that like comfy shoes to walk in, go running, wearing, gym. Um, it's coming out February 2nd. It's, uh, sorry if I butchered this name, Kinko Kastadinov. Collabing uh, with uh, Asics. The Gel Delva, if I'm saying that right too, I'm not sure. Um, they're coming out with a couple new colorways. Price isn't confirmed. Colorways are not confirmed yet either. So I'm not even sure if it's actually dropping on the second. My sources say they are. So we'll see about that. That's a shoe that I'm probably not going to get to Adidas now. This shoe's coming out February 1st. It's uh, the Adidas Continental 80. So it's supposed to retail at around 80 US, 105 Canadian. A uh, bunch of colorways are dropping for this shoe. Bunch of colorways. It's like an everyday type of beta shoe, casual shoe, you know. Coming out February 2nd again. Um, Adidas Ultra Boost 2019. This is a nice shoe. I like this shoe. Retail around 180 US, 240 Canadian. Black Orchard Tint uh, Active Red colorway. I really like this shoe. 
I like the how everything flows, how it looks. But I'm not gonna cop this shoe because I have another shoe on my list I would like to get that's coming out that day by Adidas. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So like I said, it's coming out February 2nd and it's a Bathing Ape and Adidas collab, the Ultra Boost. It's supposed to be retailing around 200 US and 265 Canadian. Uh, you got that camo and the black camo. Those are two that were confirmed. Next, we're moving on to Jordan brand, which is my favorite brand. So we saved the best for last, right? Uh, the first shoe here we got is coming out February 1st. Uh, the Jordan 3 Explorer. Uh, it's a woman's shoe. I hear there's going to be more of a variety of sizes like they do sometimes with the women's shoe for the small feet gang. Uh, we got, uh, it's retailing around 145 US, 190 Canadian. Got, it's the uh, colorway of vast gray, tropical twist, and atmosphere gray. That shoes I'm not going to, definitely not going to cop. <laughs> it won't fit my foot. Um, the next shoe we got here is uh, coming out February 2nd. Um, it's a Jordan 5 JSP Lanny. This shoe is a must cop. Um, retailing around 190 US, 250 uh, Canadian. The colorway is Varsity Royal, Light Charcoal, and Varsity Maze. Paying respects to Jordan's high school colors, and it actually looks like Michigan colors too. Next, we got coming out either the 1st or the 2nd of February. We got the Jordan 2. BHM retailing at 190 around 190 US and 250 Canadian black and uh, metallic gold. I I'm not feeling this shoe. I do not like the colorway and how they put everything together. I don't really like this shoe at all. I'm not gonna cop this. I'm not gonna cop this one. Then we got the Jordan One. They say it's gonna be. It might be a Black History Month. It might be called the Equality. I'm not 100% sure yet. But it's, com it's supposed to be coming out February 1st, February 2nd. Uh, retailing out 120 US and 160 around 160 Canadian. This color, th this shoe I like. I'm most likely going to cop this one. Um, the colorways are not confirmed yet, but as you can see, it's white and black with uh, nice designs on it. So. And the last shoe on my list is Jordan Why Not? 0.2 Black History Month. Retailing around 125 US, 165 Canadian. This is a multicolor shoe. Um, the colorway is not confirmed yet, but as you can see, it has white, black, gray, orange, uh, red, a couple different blues. Um, I like the silhouette of the shoe. I like the color scheme. Um, I'm probably going to get this shoe also if I can. Like I said, February, man, is going to be a busy month. Like the first week, they're killing it and they're flooding these shoes. Anyways, thanks for joining in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you guys some information. I, like I said, I didn't put every shoe on the list. If there's a shoe you guys think should have been on the list or want to talk about, talk about in the comments. Let me know what you think what of the shoes that were on this list. And uh, please uh, like, comment. Um, and hit the subscribe button, that little bell in the corner for post notifications. Um, follow me on Instagram at DTAT3.7 and on Twitter at DTAT92. I'll be coming in again in a couple days with some more content. And I'll probably be doing these types of videos about releases either once, once a week or once every couple weeks. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great day. Peace.